A new age coup for NATO that cost 1 billion euros. What will Donald Trump, the real estate mogul turned US president, make of that? He's in Brussels to talk defence and terrorism. Terrorist struck uh, again this week in Manchester. This was a barbaric attack which deliberately targeted children, young people and their families. That is also why one of the two main topics uh, we are going to discuss tomorrow is uh, uh, how NATO can step up its efforts uh, contributing to the fight against terrorism. Trump, the candidate, branded NATO obsolete. Trump, the president, says the alliance needs to do more in fighting terror. And he wants Europeans to spend more on defence. This is where the EU sees a bigger role for itself. The European Union in the field of security and defence makes NATO stronger. And uh, a strong NATO is key to European but also to American security. Time is ticking, say the experts. The US is already turning its attention to other security hotspots across the globe. The relationship is starting changing, in fact, uh, already under Obama, with the shift of the American strategic focus to the Pacific. And this power vacuum that the American left uh, is the condition of possibility for Russia invading Crimea and for the destabilization of Middle East and North Africa. So Trump is just accelerating this trend, uh, which pushes more pressure on the European to cope with their neighborhood, to stabilize their neighborhood, to fill the power vacuum that the American left.